Sunday with them. Last Sunday. I heard a word that I was sharing. Let us put our hands in Dear Lord, speak into my heart and release me and transform me that I may know you, that I may walk according to your will in the name of our Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. Last Sunday, we shared a word. We shared a word. We got it in Ezekiel 37. It was saying that son of man prophesy. 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 This month, I pray for you in the name of our Lord Jesus. In one of the things that the Lord should release first, that he should release your mouth. That he should deliver your mouth so that he may prophesy. I say that this month and this month I prayed among the things that the Lord should release first is your mouth that it may prophesy and whatsoever you will prophesy is going to be according to your prophecy. Wherever you are looking, just prophesy. When you, you pass by the polot you, you want, just prophesy. When you pass by such a house, you need to prophesy over it. If you want a husband, prophesy. If you want a wife, prophesy. I want to let you know God will not let you see. He will not make you enter into things where your mouth has not yet entered. Mm. God will never make you to go where your mind and your mouth have never spoken or understood. Let me tell you. Whatever God does, He does it through us. I'm going to let you go home. The service is done now. Go home and prophesy. Let me tell you. Nothing God is going to do. Uh, outside your words. The words you declare. So you are. Amen. The words you utter make you be fool and But what you are today is a product of the words you speak. The product of your words is what you are today. You will never go. You will never be outside the words of your mouth. That's why nowadays you see your children cast my children. But remember the words you have used. Naye jukire bigambo byo zengo bogera ko bana mwe yemu na asoma mwe. Na asoma mwe kwene embera. Era te bajja kusoma. Hmm? Amina. Hmm? Amen. 
Let me tell you. From today, no it from me. Oh, kuvorwa lero chino chigo kuva kunze. Never, never confess negative. The way ya tulanga koku lemerewa. What you confess. Echo cho ya tula. So it is. Era echo chenyini chechiba. Sente zivu zivu. Nga zivu la. When you say money has gotten lost. Obavu tuli bubi. Na. Nga bubaba bubi. Then poverty will just come unto you. Anga. Wabu la nzendabi enako. But I've seen a lot of sorrows. Then you continue to see the sorrows. You are calling your child a pig. You will just see your child is eating like a pig. Behaving like a pig. And then the head just grows bigger. And you don't know that even what we are is a product of, the, of our parents' words. You fish. We continue to say that, please, where they prophesy those words upon your life, that's how you even see yourself. They God stuck on your life. When God comes a time of delivering you, he said, son of man, Change your wa- the words of your mouth. I will give you the, w- the words to prophesy. And he asks you, what do you see? He asks you, what do you see? I see bones. Who was here last weekend? The pastor had a, a simple message. What do you see? The, la- the other week we were in that message. What do you see? I'm seeing the bones. And the bones I'm seeing are dry. The, the bones were so dry. They had no life in them. And he said, what do you see? Do you believe that those bones can live again? And and he said, I don't know. But because of your word. And the Lord said, now prophesy. Prophesy over those bones. And those bones will get the skin again. They will get the cements again. When they get those tendons again, and they get that breath of life, they will live again. And he prophesied. And the bones gathered themselves together. And they got the skin again. They got the tendons again. And said what is missing on those bones. Now the bones have joined up together. And they have gotten the flesh. And they have got the tendons. But there is no life in them. And he said prophesy life. I prophesied life and they led those that were dry bones and they become the living people not only being the living people and they become the mighty amen and I said that's when the vision comes back that's when the purpose comes back immediately we prophesy Tell your neighbor, I'm going to prophesy this man. I'm going to prophesy this month. This is my month of prophecy. 
It is the month of my prophecy. I'm going to prophesy. I'm going to prophesy over my children. I'm going to prophesy over my house. I'm going to prophesy over my destiny. I'm going to prophesy over my things. Whatever is mine, I'm going to prophesy over it. I'm going to prophesy over my body that you will always dress up and be I'm going to prophesy over my children. You will never be chased out of the schools. I'm going to prophesy. I don't know where these prophets came from. God, give me other prophets. The right prophets has already stood up and began to prophesy. Yes, back of your lagulam bramubo. Embere kwela likiri za jira kule koka akati. Tandi kukula kula kwecho chola bange chizibu. Walwalu sozo luku imiri de maso luka mendi osetera. Yes. Tandi kukula kula. Eye nkola ye china dini yeyo. That way, that religious way. I cast it out of your life. I cast that religion out of you. Yes. What you are told, prophesy over it. Prophesy over your family. That room you are dwelling in, prophesy over it. Say, I'm now in this room. And in this room, I'm saying, it's going to be a kitchen in my house. Lakula, lakula, lakula. Prophesy. Lakula, lakula. Prophesy. Lakula, lakula. Prophesy. Lakula, mubana bo. Prophesy over your children. Lakula, kwaba gambi. Prophesy and say to them. Na kutambula mawanga. You are going to travel nations. Na kuli nyenyoni. You are going to board planes. Lakula, lakula, lakula. Prophesy. Rababa, 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 rababa. Prophesy. Libero buro shatarara. Riketebo. Libero senderebo shatarara. Rikaya moshite. Libero. I'm going to board planes. I'm going to travel cities. I'm going to preach the gospel. I'm going to serve God. I'm going to do great things. I'm going to build the cities. Prophesy. Prophesy over your jobs. Prophesy over your business. Say these things are going to be great. They are going to be great. They are going to do great things. Prophesy over your soul. That sin that has been tormenting you. Prophesy over it and say, You sin, you are not uh, my portion. Get out and go. You have no life in me. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Get seated. Praise the Lord. We are going to go in the book of Ezekiel. This time around, we are going in chapter 36. We are going in chapter 36. We are in a book of prophecy. There are certain things we 
got to get tired of. There are certain things in life when we have to put them down so that we may be above them. Ezekiel 36 from verse 1. Give God a mighty hand of praise. Praise the Lord. When you listen to those words, you, you see there are a lot of things in them. There are a lot of things in them. Read for me verse 9. Mm. Amen. Listen to these words. God brought these words to prophet Ezekiel. When they were in Babylon in captivity, they were in captivity. And they were being a ashamed of being a reproach to other nations. And the nations were scoffing them. And they were saying that look to those that were great. They were calling themselves the great. They were calling themselves the great. They were calling themselves You were saying that you were a man of power. But see now your shame. See how you have gotten shame. See what you are going through. And the Lord had them. And he told the prophet that to them standing before you as a prophet, your Lord says that the hills of Jerusalem in all their glory and all the hills of Israel in all its glory, you are going to go back. You will be close with that glory. Before the nations where you have been a reproach, before the world where you have been a reproach, and you were ashamed of them, and they were saying that you were Christians, see what you are going through. See what you are going through. If you had known, you wouldn't have engaged yourself in to get that shame like this before they are the enemies. And they cause you to hear that as if God has abandoned you. Listen to the word of the Lord. God is saying, I am with you. I'm for you. I'm for you. I'm not of the nations. Though they have ashamed you, I'm not theirs. I'm yours. Go 
Say God is for us. God is ours. There are times you reach in life when you feel you have no glory anymore. And you feel ashamed in each and every corner. And you feel you cannot do anything else. And all your younger, your young sisters get married. And you get ashamed left, right, and center. Those that are getting married are not Christians. But you, you are the Christians. You are the Christian alone in your family. And you feel as if the eyes of the Lord it as if it has abandoned you. And you get ashamed before the nations. And they say she used to call herself the strong one. See now what they are going through. See what the Christian is going through. So and so has even produced children. If he can get out of that so-called Christianity and yet he get married to any man, there are very many men You have been despised. The world has put you down. The world has put you down. But listen to verse 8. He's saying that I want to let you know I am not of those people. I'm, I'm your God. You the mountains of Israel. You shall shoot forth your branches again. You shall shoot forth your branches again. Though you are as if you are despised. But you are he's saying you are going to shoot forth. And your branches will yield fruits. You the people of Israel. And for they are soon coming. It's not for many years to come. He's not speaking of 10 years to come. He's not speaking of 30 years to come. But he's saying the present things. For they are to come soon. Very, very soon. Soon may be today. Soon may be tonight. Soon may be tonight. Soon may be tonight. Soon may be this week. Soon may be this month. But he's saying the shame is over. And he has shifted it again, he has taken it away. And he has taken it to them that have been laughing at you. Say, I'm going to prophesy. Son of man, prophesy. Unto the mountains and the hills of Israel. The mountains of Israel. Israel were in shame because they have been left in desolate. They had, they had been turned into a rain. And God says, because they are like a rain, they are desolate. Prophesy. Lagula that they am soon coming. And what has been de de desolate? It shall gain favor again. Say Read from verse 3. 
Olinyo Roxat. Verse 3. Olinyo Roxat. Mm. Kale la gulo yogele nti wati wa yogela mkama katonda. Mm. Nti kubanga, kubanga wabale kese zao. Ela wabali denjui zona. Ama wanga gafu seo gabalie. Ela msituli dwa mimwaji abo ogezi ne ubigambe vijie bia e, mi, Nga basituli dwa mimwaji abo ogezi ne mimwaji abalie. Anu wanongoli kwa mubu mwabu abo ogezi. Who of you, you are being lifted in the mouth of those People. Are you will go and preach where they will understand. How you have been lifted up in the mouth of those who speak. Amen. How many of you are lifted in the mouth of those people who speak, okay. who okay. talk, and okay. gospel? He say now prophesy. Therefore prophesy. And say. Ogambe. Thus says the Lord God. Because yes. Because they made you a desolation. And they snapped you after and crushed you from. From every side. So that you become a possession of rest of the rest of the nations. from every side. from every at your way you came from they are abusing you and look what that one are you now a nun are you a nun if you had gotten into a convent and we get to know where is the husband when you reach at the job banang Kupate dako mbili omwa leto mwami wa uwari wa. Chichi dako. Chichi gina masu. Uja pate zaba nini. You are enjoying other people's parties. Uja pate zaba kwa ziba nini. You are eating your fellow workers parties. Gwe 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 yi ruwa. When is yours coming? Ono mala kwa imela ruyange. Do you want to first bull shoot up and so that you bring leaves? Aone baba baba. And you reach at the church. Everywhere. You are crushed from every side. Where are you stay? They have spoken. You see, they don't get married. Those are prostitutes. The prostitutes don't get married. The, the prostitutes do things they don't do. They don't get married. They don't produce. They don't get pregnant. And they know, they have a saying. You don't even need. <laughs> Amen. In other words, wherever you go, there are words that do crush you. They don't know about If you are married, and you have never gotten a child. When the, your in-laws come to visit. And they say, you are welcome. And they start. Hmm. Are you the one to welcome us? It is children that would have welcomed us. You just welcome us. 
kalima. You have refused even to produce for us. You rejoice. <laughs> you go to the toilet and say, 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 They may speak. They may crush you each and every side. But God exists. And is not on their side. He is on your side. They have made you a desolation. They have made you something that is desolate. Let us talk about desolation. Do you imagine a house that has been a desolate? Do you know a rained house how it looks like? It has no favor. It has favor of the lizards. And snakes. That means it is a friend of evil. No one looks at a desolate. And he says, I will sleep there. I will touch on it and I change it. No one. It is under rejection. It might be under such a situation. Whoever looks at you, he is seeing a different. He is looking at a rainy person. But the Lord loves the different. Oh, when you become rain, you are a friend of God. God sleeps in rain houses. They have not yet understood. I have said, when people live and isolate a it, and they make you a desolated place. For God makes that desolated place his. And I always rejoice in the situation when I'm as if I'm abandoned. They have not I don't know who will preach and they get to understand. Maybe it will come from hell. I said, whenever I feel I'm desolated, I'm left alone, that's when I feel the Lord more. Because already the Lord rejoices in those desolated things. That's why he did not go to those that are not Desolated. The, the bones in the valley. They were desolated. Everyone had given up on them. And they said those ones are dead. They are even dry. There is no hope in them. Where people lose hope. That's when God comes in. That's when God goes. That's where God goes. That's where God loves. I speak these words. I have ever been in a state of desolation. And whosoever will see you just speak evil of you. And even your parent can speak evil of you. And even your friends. And those that you call your friend. And you, you end up they also speak about you. And even your husband can he come in the morning and speak against you. 
And you look to the east. And you look to the west. And you look to the south. And in the north. That as if they have all so consented together. It's as if they have one common language against you. That's when the Lord rejoices. That's where the Lord loves. And I want to let you know. That's why the Lord says. That he always respect the orphans. That take care of the orphans. Stand with the orphans. Stand with the widow. And stand with those ones. Do you know why God tells us about that? Through the scriptures. The one who stands with the widows. The one who stands with the orphans. Who stands with those foreigners. I always bless that one. Because God is always watching you. Because you have the way of the Lord how he sees things. The person who is an orphan feels that no one cares. The word an orphan. It means that someone has been left. And they continue and say, now I'm the father of the orphans. He goes to those that are desolated. When he, then he continues and say, I am the husband to the widows. Do you know why? The widow that has been desolated, a person who is a widow, most despised woman. Listen. God stands with the people that are desolated. And now he's saying to those that have been desolated, he's saying when they are, the nations have become, you become a possession and they are resting on you. When they speak their words, they just land on you. And when they are tired, they get tired on you. When they go to rest, they rest on you. And you became the talk. No fuka emboz. You become the talk. In the bars they speak about you. You don't go to the bars, but you are the talk there. You don't go to their parties, but you are their talk. Everywhere they go, where you, you are not, you are the talk. And the evil gospel. Of the people. Do you know? Evil people. Even in the church, they are evil people. We need to pray for that, brother. And yet they have not brought a prayer request. They have brought that evil gospel. In the name of prayer. You see, there is a way. Why don't you go and pray with the very person you want to be prayed for? Evil people. Come up with evil gossip. Now I have worked it out. 
When you bring your gospel, I will just call. You say the whole. Who? You say Jonah. Jonah Jangua. Jonah come. What have you been saying? You said you have stood very well. And he said Rebecca did so and so. Rebecca, let Rebecca tell us so that we may get to know about it. There and then and we conclude the issue. If you have brought your gospel when it is not right, you, you just kneel before Rebecca and say, and you repent there and then. That's why those who know me, they know me. I don't walk on those ghosts. I walk on the word. Someone told me, Someone told me. Because the gospel don't heal. They only tear apart. They only bring wounds. Someone might be having a sickness. Instead of nursing that wound, you just tear it apart. Praise the Lord. Is there a Christian there? Is there a Christian there? And you hear what I'm saying? I request you that you may continue to be a born again Christian. Because for me, I will not hide. Uh -uh. When you say it to me, I said, Teo, come. <laughs> uh. This one has told me so and so. So that I may heal you from that gossiping. Some say that this is a holy gossip. Do it in a holy way. Go to the person who is concerned. This is what I said, Teo. How is it? Brother, sister, if it is so, may God deliver you, but even repent. And you speak to the very person. Why do you go and give an eye? Tewo is there and you see her in the church and even is the other day you said the place that there, there are these days in this generation of Christians plastic <laughs> Amen. Amen. After laughing to those to that song, the answer of it day. Amen. May God save the church. May Jesus save the church. So that the church may stand upright. I thank God. Those things of gossiping, I don't tolerate them. I don't even like them. That's why some of you you can testify. If you have ever come to me and you say and you find it somewhere else, you just come and approach me. Some people, the problem they have, they come and tell you. 
And you say that he has brought it as a secret. It is you who knows it and him. And then he goes also to another one. Then it goes from the other side. And then you bring to the past. You tell other people and they continue because for them they are so good. They have those light mouths. Those soft Soft mouths. Amina. Amina. Amen. But listen. It's, I said that you have become a reproach. And you have become the talk. And he said you become part of the evil gossip. Do you think he is a, you, know, you just see that person? But should I tell you? He's so and so. I want to let you know. If you want to be a holy person, it doesn't mean you are not going to see problems and the unrighteousness. But helping someone, it doesn't mean going and gossiping around. Helping someone. It is going and you sit together and you say, There is something I've gotten. I don't feel it, it is good. It is so and so. How do you see? Is it right or not? And if it is not right, let us pray over it. And if it is right, let us see how we put it right between you and that person. And say, I cannot backbite you, but it works for me to come and speak to you. That person will love you the more and will be open to you. Amen. Isn't it so? But if Jonah hears that I went to Sharita and we sat and, and Sharita wasn't also and I said, you see Jonah? Jonah is very different. You see, he's so and so. And Sharita also says, Pastor told me, Pastor told me that you were such and such. What is going to happen next? See now, if you are chasing out that gossip, the one that has brought the gossip is also taking from you to another person. As he has brought it, he is also going to take you to other people. Let us leave those people. Let us speak to the one they are speaking about. Because he's the one that has brought us here. The God that brought us here. He's telling the one that they are gossiping against. The nations have turned against. They are crushing them left, right, and center. At your work, they hate you. They have spoken a lot of words. Where you fellowship, they have spoken. Where you sleep, they have spoken. And even at your family, they are speaking. Uh huh. Verse 4. Mm. Listen to these. They have spoken you in all the talks and the ghosts. The gossip is there. But there is also a word. Oh. 
Tuwabebas. Oru gambo jeruli na iwa liwone echi gambo. Oru gambo luva mubantu. The gospel comes from people. But there is the word that comes from God. God looks as they are gossiping around. And God says, get hold of my word. Don't take the words. Don't take words. But take my word. Now the Lord, after they have spoken unto the mountains of Israel, they have now spoken about them. And now the Lord saying that you Israel, you the mountains of Israel, leave the words of the people. Hear the word of the Lord. Tell your neighbor there is a word amidst the words. There is a word amidst many words. There is a word. And that's what is more important for you. Let them speak. They are of their soft mouth. Eh? They are of their soft mouth. Let them speak. Let them, they are of their own mouth. Let them speak. But God has a word. God has a word. Which he has for me. And that word. That word, 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 when it happens to come out, it silences all the words. When it happens to come to pass, it silences all the words. There is only one word amid these many words. But when that word is the one that is mine, when it comes to pass, it silences every word. Say amen. Now I will not force you to say amen. It is you and your amen. But I want to let you know. Amid is the words. There is a word. Amid is the words. There is always a word. Amid is the words. There is always a word. Mm. Praise the Lord. Listen to this one. Mm. This is the word to you who has been more that has become that has become a desolate the one that has been forsaken the Lord has your word uh -huh. Those surrounding nations 
And his word has come out of, out of his fire of hot jealousy. Listen. Who has ever been there? And you feel they are speaking evil against your child. Who has ever heard it? it? And if someone speaks something evil against your child, we that have children, we understand. You who have no children, maybe you have never heard. But I want to let you know, I want to let you know, if you want to see the wrath of any parent, just speak evil against their child. There is something that stares inside. If he's a Christian, he can say, but even if he's a Christian, just tell us if you were to release it out. Hey. Zaburi asatu mutano. Ojulia. Otani ka mukama ruana gana na baruana. Na baruana nange. Mukama walani guanga. Mukama bakube. Kwate ngabo nakagabo. Kwate ngabo nakagabo. Ba you say. Omani ruachi. Do you know why? They have spoken about your child. They have spoken even evil. Now the Lord is saying, Surely in the fire of my hot jealousy, He is having a wrath which is even still hot. Those nations that have been against you, so that have despised you, I'm going to deal with them. Now, Edom, what is so amazing? Isaac gave birth to two children. When he begat Isaac, Jacob, he brought, he, he begat Isaac, Jacob, and Esau. And Jacob produced Israel. It's where Israel comes from, Jacob. And Edom came out of Esau. And God is telling Edom, though these are your brothers, but because of my wrath, how do you speak? Speak if against my child. The other one is mine. And the word says that I loved Jacob and I hated Esau. Now Edom comes from Esau. His Edom is the hated one. Edom comes from the one that is hated. And Israel came out of the one that was loved. And now God is saying, you Edom, I not only hated your father, but I'm also against you. That gospel you've been moving around with, You have even taken parts of my people's land. You have taken even their possessions. You are now rejoicing in their possessions because they are desolated. 
Because they are desolated. Now I'm going to deal with you. God is going to deal. With whatever that has been disturbing you. God is going to deal. With those that have been gossiping around. God is saying it's not with them. The one who is desolated is with you. He says he's going to stand with you. He's going to make you go through. He's going to do you good. He's going to make you happy. Verse 6. Mm. I told you that we should prophesy. Wangi, lagula, lagula, oh, Continue to I prophesy. I also prophesy. I will prophesy over your head. You prophesy. I will prophesy. Okay. Lagula. Prophesy. Lagula. Prophesy. To the nation of Israel. And said you mountains of Israel. And the hills. To the ravines and the valleys. The sun says the Lord, Behold, with my jealousy and in my wrath, because you have suffered the shame and reproach of the nations. Mm -hmm. Amen. When God is swearing, because he means what he's swearing about, he lifts up his hand. Why does he lift up his hand? Whenever he lifts up his hand, is a sign of judgment. To, to your enemies. Secondly, whenever he lifts up his hand, it is a sign of favor. Kabonero ka kuganja towards you. Erigwe. Let me tell you. The king in the days of Esther. When he, oh, he stretched up his rod and his hand to Esther. It was a sign of favor. That favor you have found, Esther, you found favor before me. Do you know what it meant before Kaman? It meant judgment. When God says, I've raised up my hand, when I'm swearing to, the, to his children, it's a sign of but to your enemy is a sign of judgment. As we are approaching the end of this month, you are going to laugh at your enemies. Let me tell you, you are going to laugh at your enemies. There are things that God is going to do. There is an exponential turnover. Do you know the Lord? If he's, he's going to beat your enemy, he doesn't want you to think the way you are thinking. He doesn't want to do what you think. Uh -huh, God has 
pass the judgment now. He's going to pull out that tongue. He's going now to punch him in the head. When God is to put down your enemy so that he may ashamed your enemy, he does tremendous things in your life before your enemies. The one who said you never get married, God makes it sure that when you kick the gown, you kick the gown when they are before you. And the, the worst to come to worst, you can even kick it and it gets covered by the net. And he looks at you when you are the one. When you are the one. If God is to ashamed your enemies, he doesn't want to first pull out the floor. There is so blood is going to give them and all of them will shut up their mouth. They will shut up. Let me give you one story. I want to give you one story. This is a story about me. I was sleeping before in a landlord's house. With, with two rooms. With one bathroom and toilet inside. So it so happened that we hired a shop. And we lived there. But because my wife looked so aggressive, she started fighting against her. She went to witchcraft, to be witch and everything. We stayed there. God protected us. She started to wrestle with her. One day she called the child and slapped our child without cause. My wife went to her. I told her, you know what? Why did you beat my child? What did she do? What they just come yandering around. But you and your husband, you are so old to be on my houses. But you have grown up on my houses. Just look, they just come around. And one of my in law had it. And said, what is young? She's also old. Amen. <laughs> What was making her to Arose abuse us in this house? She thought we had failed. She had even abused us that we are very old. But these things of the Lord, the people of the words, Tata, Mama, Paka Kumana, Elisha, Mwongo, Mie, Amen. That's where we had reached. And words have become words. We were taken before the LOC chairman when they wanted to chase us out of the house. And the chairman asked, Do those people pay you well? They are paying well, but let them live. They will not grow in my house. They will get old on my house. And they, they continued. And he took us in the court. When we are taken in court, he has taken us to court just because of one thing. She wants us to leave the house. And the judge asked, 
How have they been paying? They have been paying well. Because they are paying well, that's when they will stand. Let them live. And the judge said, I desire to have such a tenants like these ones. Because most of the cases we hear people do, those are in areas. But they even pay you and you are chasing them away. Say amen. And the words became words. And when I came by, they called it that you were an old man. And I could feel small. And I said, my God exists. We walked. And we continue. And he said that we are meandering around. We are not going to meander around him anymore. Let us be here. And we remained there. I want to let you know what I want to show you. God can slap your enemy and he cannot even speak any word anymore. And God gave us a house. Listen. She's now opposite us. She's opposite. Do you see where these? That's where where we used to stay. Now we are before her. However much you may like, she was slapped once. She can no longer say any word. She was slapped in the face. I pray it over you that God may do it for you. I pray that God may do it for you. That when you your enemies see those who used to speak they see what the Lord has done. I'm going to prophesy this word. Let me tell you this word. My wife has her stepmom who did a lot of stuff to her and she said a lot of words. It is my wife who was there at Mungama until Where did you meet them? It was my wife. I speak what I just heard also. I, I, I have copped and paced. Amen. Amen. One day she told her, You are so beautiful. But that beauty of yours is of vain. You will be a prostitute. You will be a prostitute. She was speaking words. But God has a word. You are going to get married to the pastor. You are going to get married to the pastor. You will be great. You will help many. You will relieve many. God has a word. And the stepmother has a word. One day. And the wedding happened. What is so amazing? And yet the father had to come with that stepmom. They come in Miracle Center and they watch. And they watched our wedding. We went to the reception. And it happened. They were there. And God slapped them. And said, Has she gotten married? And it's a wedding. As they were going back, and she fainted. Amen. 
Bamuz, yaziri kila u. Yaziri kile waka yanja. Ni mamu waka tunkuma. Na soka dengu. Na soka damu kengulu. Na agenda ku reception. Na agenda ku reception. Ataba deka. Katibaba wa deka. <laughs> Nga chara vya ku reception ya atena chone chimuongera buongezi. Presa nezimu kubila dali. Banda. Kati ngenda kutegeza. I'm going to let you know. E chumukama agenda chikola. God is going to do it for you. E chumukama agenda chikola. God is going to do it for you. Wenze njagaro kutegeza. I want to let you know. Katonda yakala nyaba lekendua. God wants those that are disolated. Katonda yakala nyaba lekendua. God loves those that are disolated. En serio ke jaguze. So that the world may rejoice. That they may know. That they may understand. That they may think. So that they may know. That it is the hand of the Lord. That they may know. That they may understand. That they may think. That this is the hand of the Lord. Isaiah 41 and verse 2. That they may know. That they may understand. That they may acknowledge. That it is the hand of the Lord. That it has not been the son of man. But has been the hand of the Lord. That men may see. And know. And consider. And understand. Together at the hand of the Lord. That the Holy One of Israel. Has created it. Baloze, bategele wa mungu mkono guwa muka magwe wukoze chino. Elango mtukuru wa Israeli ya chitonze. Kubila Yesu ingaliza ama. Give God a mighty hand of praise. Kubila Yesu ingaliza ama. Give God a mighty hand of praise. No matter what you are going through. Sin songa chicho itam. God is with you. Mukamari wa muna awe. No matter how disorate you are. Sin songo reketwa chenkana wa. The Lord is with you. Mukamari wa muna awe. Where you have been departed. Awa woba de waleke wa uwo. God is. Katonda ye wari. Awe ba kule kakatonda we ya kwega tila. Where they left you that's when God joined you. Abala we ba gambi nanti amulesa. Where ya people say that it's so far now. Katonda we ya kwega tila kwa. That's when God teamed up with you. Walwa wa wakendo kwe maza. That is where you are going to say things. And say I thank God. Kubanga we muandeka. Because when you left me. Yane gatako. He teamed up with me. Kaba we muandeka. When you left me. Kubanga we muandeka. You abandoned me. That's when God teamed up with me. When you left me alone. When you laughed at me. When you spoke about me. That's when God teamed up with me. Praise the Lord. Where people leave you. Abantu weba kulekera. Is where God joins. Au katonda wakwe gatirako. Tell your neighbor where God, where you leave me. Our we mwandeka is where God joined. Katonda we yantandi kirako. Amen. 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 So many on your own man. Tuwa de tuli kuwa kubeka. Tuwa de tuli tuli kuwa tuwa de kuwa munana. Tugenda kuwa munana. Yeah, munana. Aha. Na yemwe ha yensozi za Israeli. Muli sula matabi gamwe. Nemubali la bantu bange isila hivi. Soko demo lwa musambu. Mukama katonda chavayo gela wati inti njimu sizo mukono guange. Nga njo gela anti mazima wama wanga gabe toro de. Awe bali kenso nizabwe. Bebali ba kenso nizabwe. Kati adi denso nyeziba de kugwe. Now he has taken the shame and the reproach that was on you. Has exchanged the denso nizabwe. Now he has exchanged it with your enemies. Kati echiba de joli. What has been on you? Agenda chisikuwa utele wa chituze kukubo. He's going to call it as it is to your enemies. The one that has seen 
thing that does if you have faith where you have been laughed at you are going to laugh to your enemies there is where you are going to reach and see that God and you will see what God has done when God has taken what has been on you and has been transferred into your enemies and it is you laughing at them we are no longer staying in two rooms and yet our landlord is staying in a two-room house. How? When we are also there, at times we go up on the balcony and we look at her. I said, are you still there? The other time was she was opening her gate. I was also moving around. Around my perimeter wall. When she opened and saw me. She, we, we just. And she closed and went back. God is going to do for you something. Those that have been before you, they will get away. The other time I said, the one who is hiding, I remember he used to, he used to pass before when he was he's pulling the sandals. And yet he was, how are you saying that? He goes around, goes up and down. He could just pass before us. And I see, see, and I 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 But now, God is not on our side. God is on my side. Mm. <laughs> I want to let you know today. It is something else. Today is a different story. Today it is a different conversation. It's a different conversation. I want to let you know. God changes the story. There is today. There is someone whom they have opened the books. And God has already written a new story. A new story has been stamped. And he said, now let this one come out. I speak unto you today. I speak unto you in the power of the Holy Spirit. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Go into your destiny. Enter into your world. Enter into your destiny. Enter into your inheritance. Enter into your destiny. Enter into the constant of the Lord. Listen to this. Listen to this. They shall suffer their shame and reproach. I speak that the reproach that has been upon your life, God has rolled it away. Do you know where he's rolling it unto? It is rolling unto your enemy. It is being rolled. It is rolling towards your enemy. It's rolling towards your enemy. I want to let you know you might be in a desolate situation, but God does not isolate his people. Maybe Three men has ever approached you. And whoever comes just goes. They are about to hear about your introduction. 
They are about to hear about your introduction. Let me give you a story. There, there was a boy who used to propose to my wife. When he proposed to my wife, and she accepted. And then she he started playing around. And he said, if it's like that, no more. As he was there, what is so amazing? He stays on the same very way as she stays. And the family of the boy also stays there. Other things are so, they just come around. The parents are friends. Do you know what? And the mother of my wife. And gets the introduction card. They, they, he puts the card there. Even the boy looks at the card. And looks at the card. And he called it. God, what do you mean? Uh -uh, what do you mean? Uh, you mean you are going to be introduced? I said, now, this is a new thing now. I'm soon getting married. And he's. Uh, and you know what she said? You are free even to come and attend the, the introduction ceremony. I bring it unto you today in the name of the Lord. They are those that have despised you. They are those that look down at you. They are about to hear the, them. You will give a card to them and they will get paralyzed. And there is someone who is despised. Should I propose to that lady? Uh, should I propose? Or oh, should I leave? Uh, uh, you would have proposed. Uh, how should I propose? You wait. You wait. They are about to see them passing by you. By the time you will wake up. There is a brother who says, Where we used to fellowship? Whosoever I'm about to propose, they, they go faster than me. Say, dear Lord, open up a new grace that I may enter into my life. That I may enter into my life. Make me enter into my destiny in the name of our Lord Jesus. He has said that he's going to change the reproach that has been on these people that he may take of them. But it will go straight to their enemies. They will suffer the shame. 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 The shame. If you have been among those that have been gasping, you are going to be ashamed. Let me turn it around. If you have been among those that are gossiping, you have been speaking against your friend, you are going to be ashamed. The one that have been speaking against, you are going to rejoice in the Lord. 
Because listen, where we are going is very difficult. It is unbearable here. Verse 8 it says, mm -hmm. uh -huh. You are going to shoot forth. Tell your neighbor, I'm going to shoot again. I'm going to shoot forth again. Those that have cast me, I'm about to shoot forth again. Mm. Some of us that have even made us to be what makes sad to go smooth? It is the stresses of life that we go through. You are about to shoot again. Uh -huh. Now the question is you are going to yield the fruits. So that you may yield fruits again. But what has made me glad? The fruits that you are going to bear. There are those that are going to enjoy them. Though the other ones are going to be ashamed. But we should bear fruits for his people. They are those that you are going to bear fruits for. People are going to test when you are good. People are going to test you when you are good and you will be testing well. It says that the poor and even his brothers reject him. Won't it be more? Umwafu baganda webo nama mchawo. Aha. Mikano jete basi nga nyoku mwewala. Ochulide. Aha. Aba higa nya nebigambo. Nebigambo. Na inga bagenze. Na inga bagenze. Aka nda kupa ita nabigambo. Aba gobaba nange mkomewo. Nange nja kuda muntelele. Nga badu kabudu si. Aka matuari liyo mbibambo liyo buwafu. Te mundeka. Nange nja kufuna. Abe yonge. Katonda wafeno wali. Our God is there. God will come up for me. By the time he comes up for me. If you say I have dreams. The Bible says. That the poor. Even the brothers. They detest him. How much more do his friends. Go far from him. He pursues them with words when they have already gone. When I learned that scripture and I said, God, have mercy upon your servant. I could look for the people. You looked the people. Those you are looking for. You are looking for. You call the phone. There are people that I have never called again. And I said, Lord, I have understood the poor. Even his own brother, they detest him. So you, my brother, if you hate me when I'm poor, I don't hate you. It is written. I mean, I mean, amidst the scripture. 
Ao. Gamba ao. Ao. Omwabu baganda beba mchawa. The poor, even his brothers detesting. But when it comes to his friends, it is more worse. They hate that person. Even if he pursues them with the words, Banange, hey, mwemulindeko. We. Kabali wala. They have already gone. But I want to let you know. God changes the story. God changes the story. When you read verse 8, that you are going to shoot forth again and your branches and, you and those that have ran away when they had hated you. You are going to bear fruits for them. That you bear fruits for Israel. Uh -huh. Because they are about to come. It is coming soon. The time is now for God to make you bear fruits. God is going to make you bear fruit. There is something you are going to bear in. This month I'm releasing the grace which pours the manure on a plant which had dried up. The message for today and the message of this entire month of July it is putting fertilizers to, the, to this tree. I know you are going to shoot up again. You are going to shoot forth again. And when you shoot forth again bear fruits for other people. Bear fruits for others. Don't hate people. And those that hated you, don't hate them. Always bring them at your table. That's why the Bible says that he causes my enemies, that he prepares the table before my enemies, that I may sit on the table with my enemies and we eat and we share together. May the Lord prepare the table. May the Lord prepare a table so that your enemies may come and eat, feast and go. Make them eat and they get filled. Feed them and they get filled. And tell them that's what the Lord does. That's what the Lord does. I have prayed for you in the name of our Lord. I have raised that grace in your life. Whatever shame that has been upon your life, I release it in the name of the Lord. I have released the grace in your destiny. I declare unto your destinies. I declare unto your home. I declare unto your marriage. I declare unto your job. I declare that let all be established. I declare fruits. I declare bearing fruits. I declare bearing of fruits. I declare shooting up again. In the name of our Lord Jesus, take the God of the Lord. Enjoy the goods of the Lord. I declare provision. I declare his goodness. I send you friends that are coming. That are coming up with the new plans. 
They are bringing up new visions. They are entering in your destiny. I call upon the people you need. And they may come upon to you. For the glory of the Lord. I welcome the glory of the Lord. Release the glory of the Lord. Go and feast and rejoice. And give God the glory. And you may glorify your God. All the days of your life. I prayed for you. 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 Take that grace. Take that goodness. Enter into your things. I prayed for you. In the name of our Lord Jesus. The Son of the Living God. Amen. Amen.